Hello friends, this is Prakash from Logoland. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to cover the illustration of B. That's going to be vintage style and that can be utilized later on as a separate logo. And that can be utilized as a uh, printing for label designing and package designing. And I have speeded up the some portion of the video when it found some repetition of designing going on. So I just request you to, to stay till the end of this video with me. If you don't subscribe my channel by now, so you're requested to subscribe to channel right now. And uh, definitely, if you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like. So I'm very excited to start this video. Let's start. So let's start. Okay. First, uh, what we have to do is uh, you can see I have uh, set this picture as a uh, template on the different layer, and uh, this layer is gonna be. Uh, the layer which on which actually I'm going to have the vector data Okay, so I have selected this one So now the question is from where I need to start Okay, we have to uh, see this be as a different, different part. I don't want to see it as a whole Okay, I have to create different different part first Suppose I want to start from this is the back part Okay, then I may uh, then I may move to uh, this one, then the hat part. Okay, after that we can create the wings and then we can create these legs and hand. Okay, so let's start. So first I would like to create stroke. Okay, so to create the stroke I uh, always use the blow brush tool, so you can also utilize that. So I found I always found this very easy. So I'm going to take blob brush tool. Okay. So I would like to have uh, the color is I would like to have color black one. Okay. Let's try here. So we maybe we can go up to the setting. The blob brush tool. Okay. Here we can. Uh, uh, so I have set this as a smooth, whole smooth. I don't want it to be uh, fidelity. Uh, I just want it to be a smoother stroke. Okay, then I have set it to a presser. So I don't want it to be presser right now. I will utilize this option only when, when I'm going to create some stroke for the fur. Then I will set it a um, presser. Then I want it just to be fixed. Okay. Because I'm going to create its boundary with the stroke. That's okay. So how much thick the stroke we want it to be? So it depends on you. So, so we have to first try to draw. Then we can realize. I think we need to make it down. I think this stroke is perfect according to me. So let's begin creating the boundary Okay, so now it's time to create wing. So I'm gonna create wing first. So I'm going, I I would like to have the same setting as earlier, fixed, not pressure. So let's start from here. Now we need to create the fur and the detail. Let's start this. So here we have to create fur. So I'm not going to color right now. I would like to have it to be black and white mode. 
then the end when it is finalized okay uh, everything every shape is done then then i will start uh, colorizing it so by so for some time i would like to have it in black and white so i'm going to have black stroke for the time being what i would like to have i just i'm going to select this one and this one and this one all these three elements so i'm going to uh, click unite i would like to click unite and then i'm going to use shape builder tool shift m to use the shape builder tool now i'm going to fill these pieces okay i know uh, the background is not visible so what we can do is for uh, making the background visible we can utilize shortcut key control y okay control y is used for uh, to get into the outline mode so we can utilize this one so let's move it i know i hope you are understanding the process i'm using in front of you so i'm going to start uh, creating for so that's set up blow brush tool okay so now i would like to create for over here okay these lines So let's do the same thing here. So let's create some detail. I would like to take white color. I don't I just pick the white color from the background. So I would like to create some detail in the lag.
now it's time to create eyes okay let's come out of this isolation mode let's check so i would like to create eyes first to the black strong i think So this is how we can create eyes. I just I have just added the black color into that, and uh, in an attempt to give the highlight, I just use a white stroke, and I have also highlighted this, added these highlights in the form of circle. So this uh, these are the tricks you can utilize. So it's time to create fur. So I would like to create fur in the same group. Okay, so let's enter this. No, we can. We need to use the black stroke actually. So you apply the black stroke, little more thinner. Okay. So in place of the white color, we can have some yellow, actually the real color of B. So let's try this one. Okay. In place of white one. That's right. I, I had added it that time. So later on i can add this color so <clears throat> the stroke i'm the stroke you're seeing here in the white color so i why i just want them to be in the white sorry in yellow color okay yellow okay let's come into this one it is okay because it is in white color so this one this one should be white and let's jump into its isolation mode select all the yellow part uh, we don't need to select these one because these must be in the yellow color so let's select them separately so these part must be the white one okay here if you want we can add some different color like a blue one light blue kind of shade like this something like this So let's select all of these parts and pick the same color. Okay. What we have actually, take this out. So let's copy this artboard. Copy this whole artboard. Sorry. Copy this. So this is how the honeybee is looking. And I need to select these part as well. So I've selected all these parts, sorry. Again, I need to select them. So 
so let's make them one okay so i'm gonna copy this and flip Okay, now we need to copy this one as well. So now we need to do some detail work in the wings. So let's select the wings, Control G group, and let's add get into the isolation mode here we can perform so we can we can add some detail like so This is how you have to keep adding strokes. So I think uh, we should copy and paste. I think we we'll, and let's get rid of this and copy this one and flip it. Paste on the proper position. So I think uh, somewhere here we need to add some yellow stock somewhere here so we can randomly select whichever we want them to be yellow one so we can uh, select these or those these stocks one by one not all just few so we have to be careful by selecting because we can accidentally select other one as well so we are not done here actually we have to do more things so let's create some highlight here so how to do that that's you so what we have to do is uh, uh, like we have created these black stroke in the same way we have to create uh, some yellow light yellow color stroke so that they could be uh, there as a highlight so what we have to do is i think if we create white stroke then we uh, take the transparency down that will also work so i think uh, take the white color so this is how we can create white stroke so i'm gonna create one stroke one or two stroke so let's select them and let's make group so that they could be separate if they are in the group so they will remain separate so now we can <coughs> create white highlight
so let's add some darkness at the edges okay so that this part could look uh, going downward and by adding darkness over here this portion will uh, bump up so let's add some darkness how we do it let's check the pencil tool okay so we can create something like this So I'm going to make a group of this B, Control G, group. Let's make it. So here on the screen, you can see what we ended up. <laughs> so I'm satisfied uh, with the concept and the design right now. And I hope uh, you also understood the whole procedure that I have uh, taught you in this video. So how did you find this video? Let me know please by commenting in the comment box. And uh, of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give a like. I'm gonna see you in the next video where I will be uh, giving you more tips about new concept, about new drawing in the next video. Thank you very much.